Where did you put my bag? Hi guys, welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Jem. In today's video, we're gonna be playing the new Fears to Fathom Woodsbury Getaway. So I heard this is taking place in Vermont. Um, I'm pretty close to Vermont, so I'm like, oh. I feel like I've heard of like Woodsbury before. So I'm really excited. Let's hop into the game. Get your snacks and let's hop into the game. All right, need a coffee to get done with this day so it looks like we're in an office space are we in New York City wow look at the city so pretty all right also like our cubicles are mad low to the ground holy shit all right I couldn't leave just yet, had to get a coffee, okay? So I assume the coffee's over here. You had a hurricane? Damn. Hurricane Katrina. Whoa! <laughs> hurricane Katrina! More like Hurricane Tortilla! I don't know why, but I like hurricanes. It's like a nice vibe, you know? Not when it, you know, destroys your house, but... Like the wind and stuff, you know? <laughs> and the rain. Make my coffee! Water, water. Cup. Water. Alright. Put my coffee in there. Turn it on. I know how to make coffee. I need to put a lid on it. How come? Why? Look at the coffee! Yay! To sip? Just look at the skyline. Look at the- There's people on the street! That's so fucking cool. Look at the cars! Look at that cop! It's the van that tried kidnapping me! Damn, look at the skyline. Alright, we gotta go to the bathroom. So let's go take a tinkle. Bathroom etiquette. Wash your hands. Wipe off the sink for the next user. Please keep bathroom clean. Oh my god, the dog pushed me. What kind of lobby in the bathroom is this? Am I a woman or am I a man? I'm a woman. <laughs> Interesting. I think I'm gonna link one of my stories. I should put a story. My hands are full. What? Couldn't do it with the door wide open. Why not? Hello! Nice vibe with the weather until your house flies away. What happened? I can't pee in the, the toilet because I'm a woman? You guys know what I'm talking about. The last Woodsbury, or Iron. Sure. Excuse me. Somebody there? <gasps> Henry Billy Joel, you did not need to do that to me. I was dead ass tinkling and you just made me tinkle. Again. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were here. Why were you standing outside my stall? Um, it's okay. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You're working late again, huh? Again? Huh? Yes, well, you young folks sure do put in your hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. my god Every, you know when it's a really scary jump scare is when I cover my mouth <laughs> that's when you know my soul I'm trying to keep my soul in my body 
<laughs> Yo, he's following me. Stop following me. Who else is over here? Oh, hello! What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. Well, I'm just trying to give you some company. I'm just checking in if you need anything. Can't these clients ever make up their minds? What are we working on? What are we doing? I know. Still working on that report? Yeah, I'm trying to get this done. Don't burn yourself out. Whatever. Okay, goddamn. Somebody's calling me at my desk. Hello? No? Look at my kitty cat! Go for Sydney Harbor? What? Who the hell sta starts talking like this? Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hello? Hey, Harp. Wait, why am I voice acting for him? I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything alright? My battery oh, dies at the snap. worst times. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no. Uh, it even cuts out on clients earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. Mike, are you interested in me? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. I'm working overtime. Damn, but... Mark, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Oh. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Mike, you're making it pretty obvious that you like me. <laughs> um, I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Okay. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. <laughs> this guy is so obvious! I, I think it's cute, though. Um, before Gidney, Nora gets there. What? Great! Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work, then. get you back to work then. Okay, thanks, oh, Mike. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Sure, I will find something like the old college Bro, day. I had the option you to hang up on him? That's fucked. Spots. Wait, what, what? It's been like the college days. You always find the knack for the finding the best spots. Thank you. I really should make the book right, now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Mm. I see Mike. Alright, talk to you later, Harp. Adios. Well, Mike has a bit of a crush on me. I'm just curious if Nora... Was it Nora? Is Nora... Like, are we just friends? All of us three just friends? Yeah. He seemed a little sus. I had to book a cabin, okay? Do I do it on the computer? Probably. You know, I find the best spots, what can I say? So keep it under $100. What is this, Rainbow Sheets Company? Hey, yo. What do I even do? What is my job? Data. All right, what are we searching? Our... I'm just hitting in the same button and it Okay. Rent a cabin. Is this an actual website? Find you a place to stay. Rent any cabin from a host around the world. Cool. Woodsbury. So we need to find a place that's under 100. Damn, that place looked crusty dusty. I'm not gonna lie. I would love to have a house, like, in the woods. Like, having a really nice plot of land where I could go, like, quadding and, like, maybe just, you know, like, tap into nature a little bit. Like, hiking, like, all those different things. That's my vibe. 
I love it. Alright, under $100. It looks like we're gonna go with this place. This place got three stars. I don't know how I feel about that. All these other options are over 200 So we gotta go with this dusty, crusty um, place. These houses are pretty... Uh, I mean, the, the rooms look cute. Let's book it. Confirm. I assumed you got hundreds, if not thousands, stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. Rushing. Okay, so this is somebody that... This is the person talking who sent in the story. I was in my early 20s. I worked at a big consulting firm in the city. Life at the firm was constant juggling of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper. Wow, sh they just straight up dropped a name. And this is a story taking place during one of those days. Or is that not actually her name? One of my story, one of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend vacation to rural Vermont. So she's literally goes to work in the city because Vermont's pretty close by. Or unless she's in the city of, like, I don't know. Which sounded like a perfect break from my work cycle. And my other friend, Nora, was quickly to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on the Friday on Friday and leave, be back by Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yo, is this Mike? Hey, yo, Mike, you looking like, you looking like you having a cheery old time. Okay, I guess that's not Mike. Um. Hang up. Yo, that guy, that's not Mike. Yo, why was he grinning so hard at me like that? Pulling up to the parking garage now. I forgot my suitcase is in the elevator. What? Hold on. This is the guy, our Airbnb guy. He said, hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property in Woodsbury for December 10th. Can you shut the hell up? I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions or feel free to contact me during those times. Looking forward to hosting... Thanks, Rick. Looking forward. Just confirmed to check in as at 3. That's correct. My key will be in the lockbox at the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble. Great. Thank you. Just booked. Do you... Wait. There's so much... Yo, Harp! How you been? Mike, I'm literally so tired. I'm just about to turn in for the night. What about you? Not much. Just keeping afloat, my friend. How's things at the new job? Just much as the same old job, just coding my life away. The pay is better. Anyways, I was thinking about our chat from earlier. Um, oh, Mike, I really don't know. Getting away sounds like fun, but it's so much work to get packed, leave for the weekend. All I'm going to do is think about work. I should get all my done work. Get done at the office. Listen, yo, listen to yourself, Harp. We're talking about taking a nice, relaxing getaway. And all you're focused on is how to make relaxing... What? I haven't even had a real break in ages, Mike. I'm not even sure if I remember how to relax anymore. I would work all day, and when I get home, all I think about is work. I think you gotta uh, do some some work, some mental health work right there, because you should be able to relax, my friend. I didn't get finished. It's hard to unplug, you know? And that's exactly why you should come. Think of this as, uh, think of it this way, Har Sydney Harper. You're bat, you're, oh my god, I cannot read. I'm so sorry. You're like a battery, full of power and productivity. But what happens when you run out of battery for too long? It loses charge. When you gotta pull back in, plug back in on the charger harp, you'll go back to work after the weekend with more energy and be 20% more productive, I bet. Come on. You know, maybe you'll thank me later. What the fuck? <laughs> I know exactly what he's looking. Plus, Nora is really excited about it. Bro, Nora's always the last. She's always like the second thought. Mike don't give a shit about Nora. He's like, yeah, and Nora. Me and you, but... And your... And Nora. Sorry, passed out last night. Damn it. Fine, alright. I guess I'll check in with HR and let you know. Take your time, Harp. But just know that whatever you decide, we're here for you. Little heart. Yo, Harp. Your cell keep going straight to voicemail. Everything okay? Call back when I'm, I'm getting a little worried. Just booked. 
Do you ever answer me anymore? Answer your phone. Call me. I'm off at work. Okay, heading that way. Pull. Pulling up to the parking garage now. They don't really talk much. They kind of just like talk like there's a lot of space between it, you know? All right, look who it is. It's my Rizzler. The Rizzler. Hug him. Give me a hug. That's still how you hug people? What do you mean? What's wrong with my hug? Why don't you hug me like you miss me? He's giving very needy. <laughs> um, just a test hug to see if you smell, if you smelled first. Damn, should I, what should I say? <laughs> uh, let's test it out. Chuckle, fair enough. But for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Um, okay, we're gonna laugh it off. You look good. Mike is so interested, it's so obvious. So do you, Mike. Uh, thanks for picking me up. Wouldn't have it any other way. It'd be nice to have company on the way. This is an old truck, brings me back so many memories, right? This bad boy has been through it a lot. You could just throw your stuff in the back and we'll be on our way. He's like, he's giving, where's my hug? <laughs> Where my hug at? Wait! Wait, my luggage is in the elevator! Holy shit, I almost fucking lost it. Here you go, take my bags, henchman. <laughs> Get in there. All right then, Harp, are you ready to hit the road? Where's Nora? She'll meet us there. Oh yeah, I forgot that you wanted to, you know, have some me and you time. Would have been a detour for her anyways. Alright then, Harp. Damn! Damn! Okay, hold on. Let's hop it. Damn, look at this guy. Can we just... The posture is crazy. The chair is like... The back of the chair is right here. And he's like... What you looking at? Harp? Isn't it weird? We used to dream about col escaping college and now we're here. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Damn, he's he's cutting deep right now. We couldn't wait to get out in the real world. Funny how that works. Change is just hard. Like trying to adjust to the new job. <clears throat> Let's just not talk about work. We're supposed to go on vacation. Let's just not talk about it. How about that? How's your new job going? Work is... We're working on this project that used to... Uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. My, you know, my, my other man has been texting me. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. That's actually kind of cute. I like that. You know, I never understood what consultants even do. Bro, I don't even know. And that's me, apparently. Explain. I want to know. Why did we look at that bus? Da da da. Did you see that? Did you see that school bus? See what? There was a school bus. A school bus back there by the old house. Maybe it's just a project? You know, some idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. Hold on, I gotta tell a story about this. So me and my cousins, I have like a humongous family. Like, I'm Irish, our families are like 10 trillion siblings. Hold on, I didn't get to read what you fucking said. God damn it. Oh, snap. Stop looking at me. I know I'm pretty, but stop looking at me. <laughs> that was close. You know, I read on the internet, it's Native American's lore to see a deer crossing your path. It's like getting a message from the universe. That's pretty cool. Um, so what I was saying was, me and my cousins wanted to convert this bus, because I have so many cousins, where it's like an actual bus that, like, the chairs, you know how, like, the bus is, like, one after the other and they're all facing straight? If you, like, take the first one in the front and convert it so they're looking at each other and then put a table in between them, so you could play like card games while somebody's driving the bus and then I just pack my whole fucking family in there. Do you know how sick that would be? How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know? 
driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through intergalactic space. <laughs> Bro, this guy is such a nerd. But I love it. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. That is a pretty, like, view. It's like the stars and galaxies rushing past us. I, that's actually, it's interesting. Who's that cowboy little guy you got there? It's kind of beautiful. Oh, maybe he's not our killer. <laughs> maybe he's not the crazy person. Everyone wants to live in a van or bus since TikTok popularized it. I mean, it's a cool idea, you know, like a, I went to school for architecture, so like having a home that moves with you is such a like cool idea. Dairy market. Yo, Harp, check that out. What am I looking at? You keep freaking taking my view. I want to look. Pizza! Moe's Pizzeria. Let's hop in. Let's go. I love pizza. Yo, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appears on my GPS. Doesn't it always do that? It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Oh my god, don't even get me started about pizza. Pizza, especially like up north in New York City. Have you ever gotten a slice of pizza in New York City? Delicious. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza Spit Pit Stop. Let's go. Prepare to land. <laughs> Are you gonna get the door for me, handsome? Thank you. <laughs> hey, yo! Don't close it. Oh, he got the door. <laughs> Thank you, good shit. Look at this man, T-posing. Damn, what happened to your arms? Hold on, let me look, take a look around. Let's let's observe. Let's appreciate the moment here. Damn. Yo, is Moe's Pizzeria like an actual place? And can we go visit it? Because I'm so down. Got some pepperoni on that? Wait, I could talk to the people, I forgot. How's your day going? It's going pretty much... Better at now after this pizza? Thanks for asking. How about you? It's going great. It's our first time in the area. Are you from here? Where are you headed? We're on our way to a conference in the next town over with my new my buddy here. That's pretty cool. Oh, I couldn't see the dot dot dots. He's like, stop talking to me. I'm trying to eat my pizza. Oh, he said something. We just stop to eat whenever a place looks interesting. You could hear everybody chewing in the background and breathing heavy. This place is definitely a cozy spot. Best decision so far of the trip so far. How about you? Local or just passing through? Um, we're heading to a rental in Woodsbury. Woodsbury, huh? We passed a sign for that. Didn't we, Chris? Who the fuck was that? Da -da -da. I feel like I've seen Chris before. This looks like a guy I've seen. Um, I better get back to this pizza, but have a safe trip. Be careful now in the snow. Enjoy the pizza. Oh, it's this guy. Hey, yo, get in line. Damn, what we got here? We got the basil? What is your order? Everybody tell me your orders. What do you guys, when you get pizza, what do you get on your pizza? Pineapple on pizza? <laughs> I really like the basil mozzarella cheese, like that. That shit's bomb. He's like... Also classic like pepperoni with bacon or like meatballs. How are you doing my friend? I'm pretty hungry. Pizza does smell awfully good. Gonna grab a slice. Are you here for the pizza? No, just looking for a little help. Uh, maybe I can help you. Maybe you can, but go on and get some pizza first, eh? Maybe we'll chat up later. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. How's the pizza? Well, my dear, you could absolutely can't go wrong with pepperoni at most. 
every bite just reminds you of a story. We're heading to a cabin in Woodsbury. I'm telling everybody where I'm going. Woodsbury, you say? I trust everybody here. <laughs> Beautiful place. Used to camp there quite often when I was a younger man. There's something about being out in the wilderness. Nothing but the stars overhead. Those memories just stay with you. Oh. Anyway, I'm rambling, young lady. You made a wonderful choice stopping here at Moe's. Do you come here often? Oh, my dear, I've been coming here to Moe's since 1885. <laughs> well, I cannot read. <laughs> this place is full of memories for me. Oh, my daughter, bless her. She tried to keep me from eating too much pizza. Bad for a man my age, she would say. She worries too much. Only have one of these heavenly slices about twice a, twice a month now. Well, it's nice chatting with you. Safe travels to you and your friend. Thank you. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. Yes, we love a warm slice of pizza. You fine folks know what you want to eat? Well, there's three slices each. We'll get three slices each. I'll go for pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. And for you, miss... Oh, I do have the option! What's most special? Alright, I've seen all of these. I want to know what Moe's special is. Alright, what's your second slice? Oh, margarita, of course. And the third? Pepperoni. Any drinks for you? That should cover us. Thanks for the pizza. Uh, just for the pizza. Thanks. Alright, six hot slices coming right up. That will be twenty-two fifty. Don't worry, Mike. I got it. I got it. Bro. Hear my two cents. If the place is dirty and looks wretched at he as hell, that's when you know they ser like they serve some good food. You know why? Because they're so focused on the food that they don't even care about cleaning the place. That's how you know it's good food. <laughs> that should be your rating when you're in New York City. If the place is dirty as hell, they're serving some bomb food. Oh, I didn't talk to these guys. So come on down to Larry's Dirt. Auto Insurance Animal Rescue Dealership today and get Hello, sir. the deal of a lifetime. Where are you at? Are you exhausted and desperately need a break? Is yes. Your 9 to 5 stressing you out? Take yes. a vacation with rentacabin.com. We offer thousands of cabins readily available and accessible with the click of a button. Can you get out of the way, Enjoy sir? amazing views and undisturbed relaxation right. in our refurbished cabins. Where are you headed? Who are you? Now, I'm Sydney. Not only are these Look, Sydney. Cheap, but they're also We're just here to enjoy our pizza and peace. Thanks for understanding. No worries. I hope you enjoy your meal. Notch. We have many options to choose from, including... Ah! I'm just trying to have a conversation. Hello. Long sniff. <sighs> Smells good in here. I'm just watching the he's like having a full-on conversation with me and I'm just watching the TV behind him. Oh, we're in a group chat. Wait, I forgot to read my messages. Hold on, hold on. Also, the cabin guy texted this. Um hold on. Stop texting me. It's nearly five. I haven't received a confirmation text. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything's okay. The road near us Woodbury could be a little dangerous, you know? Please let me know when you're safe. Thanks. Uh, we're on our way. Should be there around 6. The snow slowed us down a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you're safe. Or, uh, when you check in and you travel safe. OMG! Does this guy know about uh, Taylor and Baxter? Let me guess. Baxter got, got her pregnant and now they're planning a Star Wars themed baby shower. Yo, that's kind of lit. I'm not gonna lie. I can see it now. A birth announcement that says the force is strong with this one. Mikey, lol. Did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married. I didn't get an invitation. Mikey, are you the biggest nerd I know other than Baxter? He would totally do that. This is so cute. All you need is love. The Beatles. Oh. I'm so happy for that. Make me believe in love again. Right? Where's Mike's comment? He should have swiped up and said something about this comment right here. If he wanted to riz me up, he should have said something. Right? I've always thought that they were so cute together. I remember Taylor telling me how they met at the Beatles uh, tribute concert in high school. Aww. It's too stinking cute. That's goals. Our college friends are moving on with their lives and getting married, and I'm here busting my ass and revisiting designs on the company and I don't even care about. 
Girl, your time will come. Seriously, I feel bad. I feel you, girl. Maybe... May as well put a bed in my office because it feels like I live here. To the practically zombies at this point. Exactly. Michael. And I miss the city. My social light is officially dead. Syracuse just doesn't hit the same. Um, I, I've been to Syracuse. Can't believe it's been a year since the last time we saw each other. Ladies, I have a proposal. Bro, I can't read. Not the same time... <laughs> Not the same kind as Bagser had for Taylor, but... Proposal nonetheless. How about we find a rental house in winter? Somewhere in Vermont, maybe we could relax for the weekend. It's like a college days. We could watch movies, eat junk food, whatever we want. Honestly, I should do that with my friends. That sounds like a cute idea. That actually sounds like a great idea. Cozy little getaway? A getaway? I don't know, Mike. Sounds like a lot of work. Plus, I'm swamped right now. Think about it, Harvey. A weekend away with no stress, no deadlines. It's like a girl's trip, but with Mike. <laughs> you said it. It's like a bad thing. I don't know, guys. I'll let it... I'll get back to you after I think it over. XO. Honestly, the more I think about it, I think it's... A, I like the idea. That's a spirit harpy. Harpy? That's a weird... Uh, let's make it happen. Alright, I'm in. There's... But there's better be wine involved. Bro, this is like my cousin speaking right now. Alright, good idea. I'll bring some pizza supplies. Not the kind wake up and bake. Mike's has... Um... Has in mind, but it'll be good. Oh, he's talking about weed here? Harper, um, would you mind taking the lead on the booking the houses? We always had an- you always had a knack for finding a great place. Me booking the cabin? I suppose I could do that. I'm excited. Let's listen to this. Here's the thing, guys. I'm on a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. Kind of tight. <laughs> Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think I can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. I wonder who the voice actor is, because she sounds so familiar. Nora, that's not a problem. We'll make sure to get some reasonable price. You got a girl, cheap and cozy. Don't say cheap, Harpy. It makes me s sound, well, cheap. <laughs> well, no, we're... You're a millionaire at heart, Nora. The fanciest woman I know. Stop. We're on the road, Nora. Let's us know when you are getting... You get going. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I this can. This is Lily. Something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but i got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. That... Bro, that's crazy. That's so cool. I want to do stuff like that. Yo, Fears of Fathom. I love your stuff. I will literally give you one of my stories. Dora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow. Don't worry. I'll make sure Harpy stays up to let you in. What you mean by that? Why? Are we, how are we going to be staying up? <laughs> that's so cool. I love that. That, uh... Lily played it. Yeah, it was a good guess. What's going on over there? Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group chat? Yeah, I just saw. Her. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. Mike, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Bruh! <laughs> oh my god. Yo, why is it? Order number 27. You folks are right here. This guy is dirty. Bro, he's trying to riz me up so fucking hard. It's crazy. Why is it Loki kind of working on me? <laughs> my stupid ass. Let me sit down! <laughs> oh, I gotta get my order. All right, folks, you're all set. Thank you, Mo, the owner of this establishment, this fine establishment. Look at the pizzas! I love that you could like actually pick. Bro, we're eating this one first. If I actually got this, this is what would happen. This is the most special. Damn, this pizza slaps! Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb-ass pizza. I know, right? 
Let me just... Come on, we gotta finish the crust. You know, gotta eat the crust. Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? I actually don't. If I was eating the pizza, I don't actually eat the crust. I'm a child, I know. I was, I'm hungry. Look, you know what'd be good? When you have like the crust, and then you have like marinara sauce, and then you dip the crust in the sauce. And, and when the crust has cheese in it, it's like a mozzarella stick. Every time I play a Fears of Fathom game, there's always some like glitch going on. All right, time to eat the crust. Like a good, uh, gentleman. Let's burp. Uh, uh. I know you thought that was hot. I know you did. He, he just was like. <laughs> Gotta throw out the trash. Holland, that was good. All right then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. I'm like drunk, I'm like, give me the keys. I'm driving. Um, are we close? Why do I still have this option? Let's see if my GPS is right, if we should be about another hour. Let's see if he's gonna give me the keys. Harp, the weather's awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? <laughs> Michael, I'm gonna drive so you could take a break. Take a break while I'm driving. While I drive, Michael. Uh, we can do that. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're gonna give me, Harp. What does that even mean? You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys! You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys! Um, I'm a little playful. I'll do that one. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. What do you mean if? Deal. Give me the keys. Hey buddy, you said you needed some help with something, right? Just looking for a little help. He's in the car. He's like, Harp, hurry up. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can. But you should go on and get some pizza first. We'll catch up later. What do you mean we'll catch up later? What the fuck? I thought he was waiting. I already got my pizza. I'm driving the whip. Let me drive the boat. Or maybe, let me carry the boat. Good. Wait, who? Who's gonna carry the boats and the logs? Let me carry the boat. Hey, yeah, you're passenger your princess, buddy. Station, you the best <laughs> tunes to one oh shit! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Snowfall of the season. Sorry, sir. There's nothing like um, a to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make hey guys, I'm driving. Right I can't read my text messages right next. now. I can't read chat right now. I'm driving. And, and Wee! We're whipping and tearing. What happens if I crash? Harper, are you okay? You <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm fine. I'm totally okay. Sir, move out of the fucking way. You need to give me some room on this lane, too, goddammit. Can we turn this music off? I can't think and drive at the same time with this music blaring in my ears. Woodsbury, we entered Woodsbury, Vermont. <clears throat> Yay. You know, they got some pretty nice skiing places in Vermont. We should go skiing. Give it a try, Mike. Yo, they have like actual things like this in Vermont. That's so cool that they got that detail. Cause they have bridges that look like that. I've been snowmobiling through like a thing like that. Oh, it's- oh, it's this house. Wait, is it? Hello? Oh, it is! Okay, we made it. And this should be it. Thought you were just gonna keep driving there. Um, I actually was, because I don't know where the hell I'm going. Oh! Sorry. It was a very cold night. Oh, shit! He got the cooler for the beers? Hello, sir. Hold on. Let's open up the door. Door's locked. Had to get the key from the lockbox. Oh, I forgot. Put my, put my shit down. Excuse me. Door was locked. Had to get from the lockbox. Is that not the lockbox? Six and a half hours later. 
Oh, is it right fucking there? Am I like Stunad? Is this it? Oh my god, it is. Hold less left mouse, mouse button. Space to get back. Oh, slide open. Left mouse button. I'm holding it down. One eternity later. Oh my. I had to slide it myself. What was the code? Oh look, 333, that's my number! That's my angel number! What'd you say? 517 Sheiks. 5. 1. Beshe. 7. Sheiks. Oh, I've actually had to open one of those before. In real life. You know, everything in this game, I'm just living this life, bruh. It's my life right here. Alright, put my bags down. This place, I knew we could count on you. What a place. It smells nice, right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space for in the fridge. Sure. You went grocery shopping? What a gentleman. House is cozy and well furnished. Oh, let's go to the basement. First thing, let's go to the basement. This looks- I just recently watched The Conjuring. This is giving The Conjuring. What is this? Couldn't open the door? They always got that- when you go- have you ever had that fear when you go to like an r and First off, that there's cameras somewhere, like in the toilet seat or something. That freaks me out. Mike was inside, I had to stock the fridge. Okay, let me just take a look-see. Let's just look around and appreciate where we're at. This place is interesting. We got a little puzzle. Cool. What's this? Little office room. Ooh, they always have- They got a Ouija board! <laughs> The Ouija! Oh my god, guys. You're gonna flip out, but... One time. Speaking of my cousins. Um, one of my, f like... One of my best friend cousins. That I'm literally, we're soulmates. Like, me and her decided one time to get one of these boards. We are very stupid. I don't know why we did it. We were young. We're like, you know what? Also, by the way... They had a toy one of these at Toys R Us. Why? But we were like, I just want to see if it works. We really just were like, I kind of want to see if it works. Or is everybody just bullshitting that it like moves? So me and her got it. We laid it on the floor one time. We were laying on the floor at our two fingers on it. And no joke, at the same time, me and her fell asleep on the board with our fingers on the board both of us fell asleep at the same time <laughs> and then woke up at the same time with our fingers still on the fucking board creepy as hell anyways let me go put my bag down let's go stock the fridge let's go get the plastic uh, cooler put that little plastic cooler down Oh shit, it's upside down! <laughs> oh, there we go. Little yogurt? Oh fuck. What? How do I put this in there? Just casually stocking the fridge. That's what I like to do. This is my favorite part of the game. I had to close the mini fridge before picking up. Okay. We're done. <clears throat> Hello, handsome. Whew. Sorry about that, Harbor. Are you okay? Long drives and all that pizza really did a number on me. <laughs> Are you just telling me you took a fat shit right now? <laughs> um, well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyways, this place looks crazy nice. It's gonna be... A rustic charm you just don't see anymore. What? You- Oh, it's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. I see. Yeah, that's cute. It's nice to get away from the city a bit. Hang on, I really need a pee. Um, that's cute. Yeah, for sure. Hey, I really need a pee. <laughs> I'll get back. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. You're gonna start unpacking my bag? Okay. 
No! Oh! Where are you going with my bag? Where are you going? I wa- Where are you going? Man just took my bag. Hold on, I gotta take a little tinkle. <laughs> Wait. Turn on the light! I can't see! The smell alone took the pizza. Told me pizza had really done- He took a shit? Bro. If you're trying to riz me up, put some air fresheners. Open up the damn window. I don't want to smell it. You don't think I got to use the bathroom too? Escape to text Rick. We Hi, we've checked in. Okay. That didn't riz you up. <laughs> Digging a dump didn't riz you up. What? I didn't wash my hands. Oops. You feeling better after the drive? Much better now. I'm good. Wanna check out the house? Let's no, check out the house. Oh, look at that animation! He like, look! Sounds good to me. Let's see what the place has to offer. After you. Okay. Bro literally put my bag away from me. Where did you put my bag? Gary? <laughs> Larry the Lobster. Why? Oh, hey. You're here. Do you not know how to fucking Airbnb works? You're not supposed to be here. While I'm here. Who are you? Welcome to my sweet home. Bruh. What a lovely young couple. We're not. Oh, we're not together. We're not together. We're just friends. Oopsie daisy. Shilly we. Shilly me. Didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get in it working again since the last few folks left. A bad word for it. So you're not gonna text me and say, hey, by the way, I had to stop in and try to fix this TV? Like, this is my time, bruh. Not your time. I didn't ask to share time with you at your house. You know, they, they say, treat your guests like your family. Nah, I'm not your family. My family doesn't go without TV. Do you see this? Also, why is his eyes kind of, like, fucked up? <laughs> like, one eye is, like, looking this way, and the other eye is, like, <laughs> Speaking of that, now the folks are here, let me show you my around my sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you a grand tour. Excuse me! Damn, look at this old folk. This old gentleman. Dish it to toilet! <laughs> right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Stop following me. Here's a shat. Here's a shower. Here's your shower. That uh, that things make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this sink right here. You see this sink right here? It don't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for y'all real soon. Bro, we're here for three days. When do you think you're gonna get it fixed? Let me show y'all the other bedroom now. Country folk, I don't know if you know this, but we're strangers. You're not supposed to be here. I don't know how you if you know how Airbnb works. Look, Harp, this room has a very nice ass view. Mike, you're not helping this situation. <laughs> y'all think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Schaefer's New Zealand style deck sealant. The best way to take care of your deck in three easy steps. First, wash your deck with soap and water. Then, wait for your deck to dry. Once your deck is clean and dry, paint your deck with Schaefer's deck sealant. I used to be too embarrassed to invite people over to see my deck. But now, my deck's the talk of the town. <laughs> Follow me now, please. Hold on, can I take a look around? Goddamn. Creepy ass, bro. No, dead ass. Are you coming, miss? No, I want to look around. I could crouch. What the hell is out there? What you 
bad in here. Bro, I'm stuck. Oh my god. Okay. Um, single invader from space reveals truth about nut allergies. Bite, tiger, attack, police. What? Where'd you guys go? Here? No? What? The deck! Bro, look at his demeanor. Look at his scary ass demeanor. Holy smokes, this place is incredible! Oh wait, you don't have these. Holy smokes, this place is incredible. Definitely. Glad you, glad you folks liked it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view, the creek, it's beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. All right, folks. Let's wait. What? All right, folks. Let's head back in here before I catch the cold again. All right, guys. This creepy old man is giving a tour of his place. He is definitely creepy. Hello? Is the shower on? Oh, I forgot. The TV is, is on. Okay, what's this place? Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my, my right. Storms like these, you never know. We might not need it. Trust me. It's always best to know where your light is. Alright, folks. Let's head downstairs now. Do you trust this guy? Huh? This guy's giving me the creeps. He just ignored me. God damn it. What are you looking at? The hell? Man broke his neck. Uh, he's like, you put shit in my fridge? <laughs> Alright, folks. I see you already stocked up with some food, with some tasty food. Um, sir, boundaries, don't touch my food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling down, it could cool it off. I think I know how to work a fridge. I tend to keep it low in the winter, to, the bill gets out of control. Speaking of the winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Okay. Oh, look, it's, uh... What is this room? Why does it say no access to guests? Are you sleeping in here? Sir, are you sleeping in this room down in your basement? The Airbnb? Sir. How much you want to bet that's what it is? He sleeps in the house while other people sleep here. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just some water heater and some old stuff. If you ever stop working, just hit the bottom button on the bottom. The pilot light will, with the fire, right back up. And you'll be back to business. Sure, I got a question. What's that room about? What's that room? Hey, hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to be concerned about with your shelves. Wit. I kind of use this basement to, as storage. Renters don't need that space. They really ought to keep upstairs. That was another thing I was going to say. Is it's pretty creepy. Like, a lot of the time when you go to an Airbnb or just any, like, place... They have a storage room where there, it's just locked and you can't have access to it. So it's like, what the hell is behind there? But a lot of the time it's just people like, they have stuff in there they don't want, obviously, guests to touch. So I get that. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Damn! Damn, boy! Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. Did I, uh, did I mention to you? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I brought this house from, well, told me his mother died down there. Some guests have reported hearing voices that night. Said they could hear something shuffling down there. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. How much you want to bet a million dollars? He's he's obviously staying down there. And he's saying just like, if you hear any noises, don't bother. Are you about to kiss me? He, he, he. Bro. <laughs> the looks on your face is... This guy's creepy. And he knows he's creepy. And he feeds into it. He loves it. Come on, I'm joking. I'm just joking. Follow me. At this point, my creep meter was completely pinging around 6 out of 10. It should be 10 out of 10. What do you mean? 
Also, I think the creepiest thing about him is that he can walk through doors. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Bruh. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, <laughs> the way he was walking away, he was like, What was the name on that booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ha! Sydney. That's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Leave me alone! Fuck. I wanted to go see where he was gonna go! What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Shut the fuck up, Mike. Where'd this guy go? There he goes! Follow him. Where do you think you're fucking going? What the hell is that noise? Where are you going? I know I'm taking my sweet time, but I really want to see where he goes. Mister, are you going fishing? Bro, he's mad short. Adios, senor. Alright, where... Let's check out the backyard. Let's take a little look-see. Oh, he went back here. Can we go back here? Oh, I can! He went back here. He went across the bridge. Is he staying back there? Can I go in the water? Aw, oh, dang. Alright, Mike. This is a cute little kitchen. Where's Mike? He's Look at him sitting on the couch. Damn, he's got that great posture. Aren't you taking a shower? Do you want to join? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, we got puzzles! No, put this shit down. I don't want that one. I want the Ouija board. This is what we're doing tonight, Mike. Yeah, but we gotta play with the Ouija board first. Come on. They said there's ghosts here. We gotta play with the Ouija board. Come on. This is gonna make my night. Also, he didn't even fix the TV. What a dumb dumb. Cause... Oh, hell nah. Oh, hell nah. Oh, hell nah. Just, no. No, thank you. I hope Mike is not a freaking crazy person, because... Like... We've been with him the whole time. Shouldn't he be showing us that he's crazy already? This area looks like the part that he built himself, you know? It's got that look. Like, little, um... Oh, there's a shower here. I thought he was talking about showering, like, right here. I was like, where's the faucets? Okay, time to take shower. Warm, nice water. Alright. This is, I assume, this is his bedroom or something. Alright, close the door. Oh, this... Why is this way to the deck? That's, like, such a strange way to get to the deck. It should be off of, like, a bedroom. Alright, time to go hang out with Mike. What? You're going fishing? Yo. Hey, Harp. Check this out. I found a fishing rod in the shed. Bro, what? You planning to catch some dinner? Now that you mention it, that would be pretty epic addition to the trip. Let's do it. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we could both give it a shot. I mean, I just took a shower, and um, it's cold outside, and also I left the back door open. Oops. And my hair is wet, and I don't want to get a cold. But I'll still give it a shot. It could be fun. Where's a rod? Do you want to grab another fishing rod? Yes. Where is it? Oh. Yes! Oh snap, I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. Yo, that thing is gonna smack him in the forehead. We'll need to catch three carps, though. You up for the challenge? Yeah. Well, first thing first, we need the right bait for the carp. Check out this bait board information. Whenever you're ready, grab the carp bait and let's head to the creek. They're going to catch some carp. Harp? 
Sweet. I like that he rhymed my name with the carp. It's funny. The grumpy. Okay, which one we need? Let's do the prawns. Hold on. Okay. Get it. I want to pick up the prawns. Look how cool that one is. All right, Mikey, let's go. <clears throat> let's go, some fishing. <laughs> Hello? That's my seat. Hope those carps are biting today. Let's go fishing, bro. Wait, how do I put the... I'm going to put on the hook. Where's my fishing pole? Can't do anything right. Put it on the hook. Is it already on the hook? All right, let's cast our line, bruh. You like fishing? It feels like I'm playing Minecraft. Yes! Oh! Oh, shit! What am I doing? I did it! I caught a fish! Yay, I got another fish! I'm just fucking catching this Minecraft fish. Like crazy. I did it! We got a brook trout! Good job, but if you keep using that bait, we'll be here all day without a single carp. Time to switch it up. What? Um, what do carp like? Oh, it says it now. I see. Which one is the carp? Carp, cheese delight. That was the one that I threw on the floor. We got cheese on the bait. The fishes like cheese. Apparently, everybody likes cheese. You just gotta hit it side to side. That ain't a motherfucking carb. That's a good catch, Harp, but stay focused on catching carp right now. Am I dumb, or did it not say that cheese delight can pick up? Wait, how do I get up? Oh no! The cheese! I dropped the fucking cheese, bruh. You drop the cheese and the game fucking doesn't let you get up. How do I get up? I always somehow find a way to glitch the game. Like, and it's not even my fault. I guess I have to restart the game. I don't know. I hope I don't have to replay this part, because that would really fucking suck. Alright, we're getting a carb. Ready, guys? Carb. You just gotta go side to side. Goldfish! We're gonna throw it back. We- Okay, this was a carb. I know it. I know it with my heart and soul. Carb! Yes! I knew it! They say whenever there's a one carb, there's always another one. Alright, let's get him. Carb. Look, he's got a fish right there! He's floating a fish right there! What? Boy, you're supposed to take the fish off the- Who the fuck is that? Throw that shit back. I don't want that. Who the fuck was walking over there? Somebody spying on us. Greg. Gregory. I mean, Michael. We got it. Yay! We got another carb. Just one carb left. You got this. Thank you. I believe in myself. Yay! We got all three. Great, Harp. Looks like we got the three carbs. Do you want to head back? Yes. We got the little basketball court over here. Oh, God, I am. Let's do it! Fuck. Wait, I want to see if I could get an achievement. Come on. Yes! Yes, Kobe! I did it! Third try. Third time's a charm. Also, Mike, are you just gonna let that guy hit on me? 
I'll hit on your girl like that. <laughs> While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Just take a bowl and throw in some ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt on it. Why is the fridge- He left the fridge open? That goddamn motherfucker. Also, ah, uh, this game is making me hungry. Got the yogurt. Oh, I like how they have a little- Did it say eggs? Black pepper, Italian seasoning. Just Italian seasoning? Black pepper. Shout. Ginger paste. Paprika. All we needed the damn olive oil. Where it is. No? Okay, where'd it go? Uh, sure, you got that. What are you doing? Got the olive oil? That's another extra fish. Did you catch that? Oh, there it is. We did it! Marinade these damn fishes. What is that? Potatoes? Potatas? Lemons? Do you mind throwing the fish in the marinade in a castor oil while I chop these veggies? Sure. Damn, he's chefing it up! <laughs> he's chefing it up. Yo, you kind of risen me up like this. You cook? Damn, okay. <laughs> Put that in there. I had to add the fishes first. What you mean? Put this down. Oh my god, I'm spilling it everywhere. Put a fish. Fish one. What if they got the diseases on them? Oh, I can only put two? Okay, give me the veggies. Could you add the veggies? Hell yeah, brother. I mean, it needs to go in for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. We got the lemon and tomatoes. Damn, chefing it up. Look how bomb that looks. I'm literally so hungry. Look at this food. That's what I want to get good at is cooking. Like chefing it up like that and enjoy cooking is magnificent. Those carbs are going to taste amazing. I believe you. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some of the lemon. You mean the Ouija board? Let's go play the Ouija board. Are you gonna come here and play with me or what? Dirt, I got one right here. Oh snap, the Ouija board. Molly once told, oh. <laughs> Molly once told me how she contracted her, contacted her dead mother. I meant dead grandma through one of these boards. Can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey yo. Hey, remember how that dude was acting weird about the basement? Maybe we should try down there. Boy, I wanted to do in this living room, not down there. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. After you, oh, after you, sure. We're contacting the demons. Contacting the motherfucking demon. We're in the conjuring house right here. Watch out for the spiders down there. Where? What? We're gonna sit down here in this tiny little coffee table? Oh. Yo, they could pick up tables in this game? That's crazy. We're gonna do it right by the door? That's what she said. <clears throat> what the? You know what would be make this even spookier? Don't fucking tell me you're gonna turn off the lights. What did I say? Let's see if this thing really works. Bro, you literally were just skeptic. And now you're saying you want to do everything to spook the shit out of me. Guys, I'm scared! Anyways, why? where is this cast of light shining on your face? Do you know how this works? Um, no. So here's how it works. How do you know how it works? First, we place our finger lightly on the paleche. <laughs> we have to ask questions of the spirits if there are any, and we'll move paleche to spell out the answers. Or at least that's what Molly told me. Oh my god, a Ouija board. One more thing, Harp. Never take your fingers off the pleche until we say goodbye, otherwise we might kick off some spirits, she said. Okay. Demons! Demons! Alright then, you go first. Are there any?
any spirits who want to talk to us? There's supposed to be two fingers! Everybody puts two fingers on there, what do you mean? That ain't right. That don't look right. Where are my hands at? Wait, what? Yes? Obviously he's moving it. Do you not see his arm on it? <laughs> he says, no way, are you moving it? No, that wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. Huh? What did he say? I can't read. <laughs> did you live in the house? What was your name? Are you friendly? What's your name? Give me your name. Jerry? Frank? Huh? I literally cannot see where the holes are on the names. Like, my turn. Come on, buddy, give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Mike, you fucking left me? He heard, I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts and spirits, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel e uneasy that night. Bro, Mike, you just fucking ditched me? What the fuck? The audacity. He heard the fucking goofy fucking noise behind him, and this bitch is running like a scaredy cat. Mike? What the fuck? Are you kidding? You just left me down there? Some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. You mean weird how you left me? Weird part is that you ditched me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would be moving your ass too. <laughs> I figured you'd be right behind me. Would have been nice if you checked. <laughs> have you ever heard of fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay. Whatever. You hurt my feelings. All right, what this food looking like? Damn, that shit be looking busted. Do you just leave the skin on the fish like that? Aren't you supposed to peel the- Oh. You trying to kiss me or something? I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. That's my favorite part of eating. Is watching the TV. Oh, there was plates. Also, close this damn thing. Give me the fish. Damn, bon appetit. We're just going to leave the Ouija board? Are we also not going to talk about the fucking noise that we heard? Can I not eat my food? Oh, I have to turn on the TV. And start making the chocolate. Oh my Take god, it's gonna be that weird TV show beans. that they always have every time you watch uh, Fears of Fathom. Yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor. In they always got some weird shows going on. The next thing we prepare is you the like mayonnaise. This? We stir fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not gonna Irish. Lie. What makes the this tofu Irish? This is gonna Irish? taste like shit. But here you are, anyway, listening to my cooking. Damn, look at the bone on the this fish. This is the brain of the mayonnaise. We we gotta inject it with. A little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. It gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together in a tray and place it inside the oven. Okay, and while that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. The appetizer. Gasoline soaked ramen. Oh now, my this God. dish is extremely hard to make. A dish only for experienced cooks. It requires a lot of patience and skill. What you will need is gasoline <laughs> and ramen. Oh my god, so difficult. This dish really soothes the soul. Almost like a high-end cleanse. We begin by pouring the gasoline into this pot. I see. Make sure not to use whole gasoline since it's really bad for you. Whole? Maybe use 
two percent or half and half. What? Do not use diesel. So after letting the gasoline come to a boil, we can put in our Her ramen. Boat. That was some fine ass food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. Basement. That was really good. Well, you can use whatever kind great team you Harp. like. You know, this besides the point where you fucking ditch me. <laughs> hey, anyways, I need to check out my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. It's actually kind of okay. Scientific. I'll be right back. All right, I'll clean up here. The gasoline molecules merge with the noodle molecules, and they taste very good. I see. Now that this is cooking, we can check on our cake. Um, uh, if your oven <coughs> catches on fire, uh, make sure to put it out with the fire extinguisher. Well, damn. Who got a fire uh, extinguisher? Uh, damn, in that's burnt. Uh, damn, that's I burnt. I'm not eating this. You better but, be. but, but not to worry. I know someone who will. Okay. Yo, Grandma! Yo, I made you food! No, 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 it's not, it's not poison, it's not poison. Look. Ugh. Goodbye, Grandma. Stay in your room. I don't want you wandering around the house again. Get back in there. <laughs> okay, I'm glad she ate that up. Oh my god. She glad she go ate that up. Dishwashing. Plot twist, Nora was behind all of this. Honestly, probably. Um... So, with the Fears of Fathom games, they always have some, like, weird-ass cartoons going on. Okay, if you want, well, this morning's coffee, that's count Michael, you texted me? I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Bro, you spelled stairs wrong. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Yo, there's someone under his bed. Don't worry, my beautiful. I will come save you and rescue you. Walk slow. Wait, what? Don't make sounds, walk slow. Which fucking bedroom are you in? Apparently not this one. That's a closet. Who the fuck is under your bed? Bro, we did just mess with the Halloween fucking Ouija board. He's gonna jump scare me. Guys, it's a prank. He's gonna jump scare me. Or Nor is. Mike, I will beat your ass. Mike, I will literally... My good looks and charm, huh? But don't mess with them. Mike, I'm about it. I totally got you! Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Whatever. Come on, it was just a joke! You wanna go for next round? You wanna go for the next round? Next round. How about we find a game, play a game of hide and seek? What? I guess. Alright, go. You're on, I'll count to ten. Bro, where the fuck is Norma? <laughs> Nora. You're gonna hide back here? I decided to hide in the basement. Why do we have to hide in the basement? Also, what you doing on your work? What type of emails you looking at? What type of emails? I wanna know. And why are we playing hide and go seek? the fuck? I mean, I ain't mad about it. Let's go downstairs. He ain't ever gonna find us down there. We're gonna end up getting, like, caught somewhere. Oh my god. I don't wanna go down here. But I ain't no bitch. Open up. I decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. Oh, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Oh, hell no. Nah. You don't know about the nook. Why would... Why did he look first here? He, like, knew. Come on now.
<gasps> ha, got you. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you'd be good at this since I never find you in the city. <laughs> Yo. Maybe you need to look harder. Alright, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna watch you. Close my eyes. He's going upstairs, guys. This guy just want to do things to creep you out. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Seven Mississippi. Eight Mississippi. Bro, I'm literally playing the Conjuring game. Nine Mississippi. Ten Mississippi. I'm coming. Who the fuck opened it, goddamn doors? Put this Ouija board down. You're just gonna leave that shit there? Also, stop crouching. Why would he joke around saying someone's underneath his fucking bed? Like, that scared the shit out of me. You'll never find better prices anywhere. Especially not at our competitor, Dave's dealership. Because we're the best. Dogs oh, this is the same thing I was playing at the pizza shop. Pure bread and butter inbreed diamond grade hounds. Inbreed. Note: Not all dogs are tested for influenza and may or may not carry multiple military grade weaponry. But okay. not to worry. They're dirt cheap as well. So come on right. down to Larry's. He's got to be upstairs. I'm coming for you, mother trucker. Bro, I found you so quick, you fucking bitch. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No, not kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up here. Did you not hear it? No, I didn't. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this addict has access. Has an access door here. Am I about to get jump scared? Oh, for a second, I thought someone was by his truck. Oh, hey, yo! <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> boy. Hey, yo! What the fuck? Couldn't reach without a step stool. Sir, we need a step stool. You're telling me, why don't you go? I think uh, my shoulders are too broad to fit through there. Shut the hell up, you lying. But one of us really should look. Where are you hiding these broad shoulders? <laughs> Seriously, Sydney, I don't think I would fit though. Throw. Use that step stool behind you and climb up. Behind me? What step stool? Oh! Of course! It's behind the door. Oh. It's up here. What in the gabagoo is up here? What the? There's a motherfucking shrine of the old man! Don't know the lights? Look at this view! This is scary as hell. He's gotta be- Oh! Kitty! Meow meow! Kitty meow meow! It's that guy's cat! You scared the fuck out of me, kitty? Hi, kitty. Hello! You're really cute. Okay, false alarm! It's just a cat! Bouse alarm. He was under there. We were looking over there. Dude, there's a cat in there. Sydney, are you okay? What's up there? It was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried for a minute. I think she's hungry. Oh, yeah. Maybe we could give her one of the carps after I found... After I come find you again. What? Okay. Where am I gonna hide? I decided to hide in a tool shed in the backyard. Bitch, why are you going outside? That's illegal. You can't be hiding in the most craziest places like that. Let's try to keep an eye out to see if there's any else, like anything else going on behind the shadows. Turn off the light. And crouch. Let's watch him come over. Bro, why can I not see him? Oh. Um, yeah, it's illegal. You're supposed to say that the out outside and inside are inbounds of the game. Haha, <laughs> there you are. Bitch, you can't see me. You, If I can't see you, that means you can't see me. 
Damn, Harp. It took me a while to figure out you left the house. Any worth we're doing. My turn. Close your eyes now. Close those pretty eyes now. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're heading back anyway. You'll find me and we'll go to bed. Bro, where the fuck is Nora? Alright, fine. I have to close my eyes right now? Okay, I'll close my eyes. Outside. Because, you know, I like, to, I like to play a little risky. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine, ten. Ready or not, I'm coming. All right, let's go inside. Where do we think he's hiding? He's got to be hiding somewhere good. Are you outside? Hey yo, there's a van. Okay, he's gotta be hiding upstairs. I'm about to get jump scared, aren't I? Let's take the flashlight. He can't be hiding in the same location, right? No. <laughs> um, maybe he's in here? Oh wait, I was just in there. <laughs> you dunderhead! He closed this door. This door was open. <laughs> Sir, you're not gonna, like, knock? Give me some damn privacy? I know you are gonna fish fix the sink, but, like, what the... You couldn't have told me? What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. What the hell are you doing back in here again? Rick, why are you back? What are you doing with the hammer? He's fixing the sink, obviously. I'm fixing the faucet. Y'all got a problem with that? You should have told us. Mish. Mish, this is my house. I don't need to check in with y'all every moment I fix them. Well, um, if I'm staying here, I need some privacy. Yeah, it's like a hotel. The fucking owner of the hotel just just walk into the room. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. <laughs> That's accurate. Y'all never fixed any faucets yourself, young man. Didn't think so. I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. You're not gonna knock on the fucking door? If you ever heard anything before that, it must have been in that old lady. He <laughs> remember? He was here the entire time. Be you know why? Because he knows that we heard something. He was downstairs in that room. Do you think you could maybe fix it tomorrow? You asking me to me leave, miss? Uh, but yes. Unless I would like my fucking deposit and money back. Yes. And I'm gonna leave you a horrible ass review. Sir. No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I don't really want to have th to call the law enforcement. <laughs> Did this really happen? Did he really say that? Because that's crazy. Mike, let me handle this. This man's like... Ain't no cops in Woodsbury, son. What do you mean by that? think they're gonna arrest a homeowner for fixing the damn faucet? I was just doing some work. If y'all can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. I don't really believe you. After locking the do door, we debated on what to do. Bro, you don't think he's got the keys for the fucking house? He owns this place. They, we agree there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he joined making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. Um, Honestly, if I was at this point, and the fact that he just randomly showed up unannounced and was, like, in the house, I would have stayed at a hotel. We attributed his behavior to a lack 
an extreme lack of social awareness. Probably. Look, we already drove all the way down here. Let's just enjoy yourselves, Mike said. Mike, um, no. By this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest, okay? 11.39 p.m. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. What the fuck you knocking on my door for? Oh! Mike, what the fuck? Why are you asking if I'm still awake? Do you not see me standing? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. What you trying to talk about? Also, Nora! Hello, do we forget that our friend Nora is supposed to show up? What are we talking about? The storm is starting to get really bad. I hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. She'll be fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Guys. That was sus. His response to that was really sus. All the delusional thoughts <laughs> are running through my head. Is Mike a fucking liar? Did Mike- wait, hold on. Did Mike- is Nora not coming? And is Nora- like, why did she send voice memos? I was wondering, like, why did she send voice memos? Unless, like... Like, you think... They purposely did that so you don't think that she's, like, she's a real person. But what if... The fact that he also asked, like, Oh, did you hear her voice memos? Did he fabricate this whole fucking story to get me out in the fucking woods in the middle of nowhere with him? That would be crazy. Don't worry, I'm here to keep you safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. Gods are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? Mike, you're freaking me out. Not only is this guy who owns his house freaking me out, but you're freaking me out. Just his reaction to that was really strange. Um, what are you talking about? A, what a day, huh? This is wasn't suppo exactly how I wanted our getaway to go, Sydney. Mike is being so strange right now. So strange. Can you believe that guy he kept wandering around the house like it's his own place? Yeah, I wish you would cut that out. I thought, well, I mean, bro, let's get a hotel. I thought you'd be scared in here by myself. I mean, I am a little freaked out. Mike. <laughs> Mike, please. Please. <laughs> I don't want to sit next to you. You got me anxious. <sighs> Mike. Harp, you know. He's about to make his move on me. I should have locked the door. <laughs> I miss this. Us. Just talking. It's been too long. You know. You're about to confess your feelings for me. I already know! You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. <laughs> Mike, where's this coming from? Would you be doing this if Nora was here? He didn't respond. That's because Nora's not coming. It was a fucking lie. He's always been really strange. Like, from the very beginning, he's always been, like, saying how I don't spend enough time with him. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. Should we throw that in? Damn, that's kind of fucked. I didn't start off... It didn't start off awkward, though. Like, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. Yo, did we, like, hook up or something? 
<laughs> they sure did. I was hoping they may happen again. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Just, you just let me worry about the details, Sydney. What? Huh? Wait, what did I say? Fuck, I... Okay. So, maybe Nora is not... Maybe this isn't all just set up for him to get me alone. Because Nora sent another voice memo. This is... What? Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half a foot deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> Bro, that is I acting. I ask, but can you two come get me? How far is she? I mean, we could go get her, I suppose. Rent a cabin. I'm about to send a rude message. You freak face. Okay. Do you hear that? What timing, huh? I guess we could leave Nora stranded. We can't leave Nora stranded. Uh, no, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense of us both freezing our asses off. Okay, I'll stay here. <laughs> I mean, I would still go. If this was actually happening, I'd probably go out and help. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas, I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. That's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Okay. Spooky ghost. We'll finish talking about this later. Get some rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. Girl, come on. I think obviously it needs to be addressed. Good night. Wait, let me lock the door behind you. Because I, I don't feel safe. This guy come in and spooky scare me. Also, you're leaving me. I'm scared. I want to go with you. I don't want to stay in this, this freaking creepy guy having access. He's going to scare me. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Bro, look at the wind outside. Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Yeah, I think I'll crash for a bit. Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you are right now. Probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? Who, whoever said that comment, hold on. He's giving, uh, where's my hug? <laughs> this is so funny. I don't know, that comment was hilarious. But that's what he's giving right now. Can you give me a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. Sure, I'll give you a hug. So we dream, get some sleep, drive safe, Mike. <laughs> it's freezing cold outside. I'm about to get annihilated in here without you, Mike. Mike, please don't go! Please! No! Oh, damn, okay. Where are you going? Alright, time to go get some sleeps. Is he access to the attic? This guy's gonna come in through here. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Bro, I would not be sleeping. I would be sitting on my bed at the end of the bed with a shotgun in my hand. 
Also, wasn't there someone knocking on the door the last time? Oh, hell nah. Oh, fuck, guys. Oh, fuck. I'm not gonna lie, Fears of Fathom games are really fucking scary. Who the fuck is at the door? Who the hell be banging at the door like that? Who is that? I realized someone was at the late. Oh, it's that fuck. That's a, that fucking guy. Hello? Look, friend, I ain't. I know it ain't ideal banging your door at night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they're running behind and won't be here for about two hours. You could sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you would let me in, wait inside until my friends get here. To get me. You're not coming in, end of story. Bro, that reaction was, um, not okay. Are you kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out of here? I didn't make you go hiking into the storm. I should have known you would have been a big ass big bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. What you mean I wasn't a bitch? I was nice to you. Boy, I'm setting a boundary, bro. You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. But looks like you're still... What do you mean give you a chance? Bro, what are you talking about? Unkind. Get out now or call the cops. He's gonna say something about there is no cops here. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here. Either. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm down on that one one. Fine. Shoot your shelf. Look at that guy. He was the one about to kiss the other guy in the background. Where do you think you're going? I gave you the offer of standing on my porch. I just don't want you coming in. Because I'm scared, okay? But let me tell you something. You better watch what's coming to you. For leaving me here out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. You ain't scaring me, stupid bitch. Where are you going? You going around town? Where are you going? Where the fuck you think you're going? What? Bro, go uh, harass somebody else's house. I'm not going to sleep with this guy kicking down the fucking cellar door. Yo, there's a bunch of creepy people in this damn town. I ain't going to Vermont fucking Woodsbury ever. Count me out. There's literally like six different houses that he could go to. Alright, I guess we're going to sleep. Back to sleep. I haven't been able to get a freaking lick of sleep. Get up. Get up. At this point I had no choice but to call for help. Where the fuck is the phone? Oh god, please don't be roaming around in this house. Text Rick. Hey Rick, sorry to bother you, but can you come back over? There's someone we meet. We met driving down here. He was banging on the door, started threatening me. I'm pretty scared. I think I heard him moving around outside the house. Could you please come and look since he live since you live close? What do you mean you live close? He's here in the house with us. Rick, please. What time is it? Somebody, why don't you text your friends? Oh, there's separate messages with Harpy, saw your stupid face. Anything else? Okay. Bro. No messages. 
messages? I'm busy on my phone, can't you see? I'm scared, guys. Who the fuck is still knocking on my door? You came in through the basement, didn't you? The basement's right fucking there. Oh! Open the door. Sir? Huh? There's somebody in the basement! What the hell's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Rick, I'm so glad you came. Did you see anyone outside? I kind of trust him. Even though he's a scary motherfucker, I feel like he's not the one. Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen some. Could have been anyone or no one at all. Bro, you're scaring me. I'm about to die. Yeah, I came up as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I shouldn't have let him in. Oh, no, I shouldn't have let him in. Oh, no. By the way, where's your friend, that guy you were with earlier? He's upstairs. He's sleeping. His car, I don't know where it went. That other guy took it. He should be back soon. Mm -hmm. So you're all alone here now, huh? Oh my god! Why do you- Where are you looking? What are you looking for? It's time to look for some fucking weapons. That's for sure. Take out my Ouija board. I guess it's just me and freaking creepy ass old man here. <laughs> One fourteen. I know. I don't know. Time ain't making no sense. What the hell was that message? Storms like this bring all kinds of folks. Yeah, creepy ass people like you. Not all of them know when to stay away. Nice fire. I guess I'm gonna snuggle up to you a little bit. Guys, how did he text me when he's standing right here? You want to know why? Because this is not Rick. I just let in a fucking stranger. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's flipping fantastic. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? Should we just combat him? So we see what happens? You aren't Rick, aren't you? He's gonna fucking chase me! We're confronting him. What did you just say? Confront. Duh. Is. My. Fucking. House. And I will leave when I want to. What do you want? I want what is mine and this house and you. Oh no, guys. I'm screwed. I'm getting chased right after this. You're trespassing. You need to leave. I don't think so. If anyone's leaving this house... It will be one of us. Ah! Bro, what? Okay. First off, first off, first off. First off. 
He could have swung his hammer right when he was in front of me, but he decided to run to the door, break the door thing. Is there a way that I could run outside? Why does he still have the hammer in his hand? Because he's about to whoop my ass. That is why. I could run down into the basement too. There's a thing in the basement. I know you ain't motherfucking Rick, okay? Yo, you better- Alright guys, ready? Set. You need to leave! Running, we're running. Fucking bitch. Why don't I silence my phone? Hey. You're actually mm. joking. You're actually joking. Nora single-handedly ruined the entire trip. <laughs> For real. She didn't come, so the freaking mic's trying to hit on me the entire time. <laughs> Alright, we're not gonna crouch, we're just gonna sprint. Mm. fucking joking.
supposed to be doing? The cat is here. Also, it sounds like he's like right fucking by the thing. Open the door, Harvey! Please get out of here! Bro, he was looking up at me. Are you alright? I called 911. Yeah, bro, call 911. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Can I come down now? Did they, am I okay now? Did I get rescued? Why am I slow walking? Did I die? <laughs> I better die. <laughs> Babe. Break the door down. Break it down, bruh. Oh, he went into the basement. The back door. Oh! Bruh. My savior! I told them everything that happened after Mike left. Yeah, you should have went. We should have brought you. If that guy was acting so weird, we should have brought you. Like, should have hopped in the car with Mike. Told them everything that happened after Mike left. Riff, Rick called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time I arrived. And, of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. That's so freaking scary. The fact that this genuinely has happened is crazy. After I drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that that man was... Sw we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it was, wasn't being used. Yeah, obviously. And planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seem to think there is more intent behind the man's actions besides from robbing us. Bro, he got the hammer. He about to whip my freaking head. Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that, I didn't ask, he didn't ask any more questions. We think, we think he knew more than he was letting on. Rick knew more about what's going on. You think it was Rick's brother? But in the end, he gave us a full refund. I guess that's the moral of the story. It's okay if he traumatizes us a little bit. At least, at least we got our money back. That's all that matters. Survive here! We survived! Survive to the fifth episode! Yay! Yay! They're looking down in the basement! Can I go see that room? I didn't even get the chance to talk to Nora. The door was busted open. Look at the door on the side. Why do the people keep telling us that there is no cops in the town? Like, there's a cop right there. Typical where my hug at situation. <laughs> I'm dead. Top supporters. Aww. I love that. This game is amazing. I love the creator of this game. I love all the Fierce of Fathom games. Easily could have dropped them. With these fists. Thank you for playing Fears to Fathom. Thank you for creating Fears to Fathom. I love the atmosphere. I love the little snack things. It always makes me so hungry. I'm literally starving right now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This was Fears to Fathom Woodsbury Getaway. It was a lot of fun. I had a good time. My favorite part was probably the pizzeria when we ordered the pizza. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fears to Fathom. Whenever there's new ones that come out, I will continuously play this for however long they end up continuing this series because I'm obsessed. But anyways, if you enjoyed, give it a like. Consider subscribing. Also, check out my mains channel if you want to see the short edited content. Or if you want to check out my VODs channel, join my live streams. Um, come chat with me while I play the games. I would enjoy and appreciate seeing you there. Anyways, check out my socials on Beacon. Thank you guys for watching. I get the money and it's right on. I'm gonna take a step back. I'm gonna take a step back. I'm gonna take a step back.